as I want to reduce some crease here, pick this edge loop here. Let's dissolve it. There we go, much better. Now to make some more crease here. So I'll do this by snap option on always. Scale it a bit. Then grab it. Don't know how to edge slide it in this case, but I can smooth it. So I'll do it uh, manually. I'm using edge slide for these edges. Making these edges much closer to the to the border. So I expect this will be creating more crease there, yes. Here, however, I don't need all that crease, so I'll make some distancing. Yes, okay. Perhaps I could make some better mesh distribution, at least what seems like to be better. Here they seem to be a bit overly concentrated. This looks good. I can also pick this other vertex from the skin without snap option. Then I can make some smoothing out here, right? This model actually has some very bad smoothing on the vertices. What I cannot do is like editing this simultaneously the eyelids mesh and the skin mesh. Either I'm using the snap tool on, if either off. Basically, whatever is from this edge loop inwards, we use snap option enabled. Whatever is from this edge loop outwards, we have to disable it. We can even check on different viewport shading modes and see how it is looking like. I believe this is ready for deformation. This is not mirroring because... Okay, so I've realized there's something broken here. This is because I always used only a single mesh object for these two, but in this case I need a, a left and right vertex group for the shrink wrap modifier. Let's make a test, that's a sign and that will be group left. Then I create a new one, that will be group right. And we leave it empty like that, because I'm using the mirror modifier, so what I'm gonna do next change this shrink wrap modifier to group left this can still use the mesh modifier for both because it's just a solidify modifier however for the shrink wrap modifier of course what i need is that i need to duplicate that and then for the right side then group two okay so i lead left then I lead right. Okay, so this solves this trouble, except that the names that I've put here is horrible, so no more shrink wrap here. This will break all the modifiers. Shrink wrap, I lead left, and this shrink wrap, I lead right. Hold well on, we'll fix everything here by just updating this and this. Then the solidify, solidify here. Now I think there won't be any conflict anymore. For the material colors, directly in material properties tab, not in here, the base color, but in here at viewport display panel, then I copy that, and now it is ready for both eyes since they use the same material. As I was making this tutorial, I found out different approach for the eyelids that will help solving the gapping space as we work with the shrink wrap modifier and the solidify modifier. And actually that new solution, alternative, doesn't use the solidify modifier. 
in principle. So you can just delete it. We're gonna fake a solidified mesh by creating a border and there will be two layers of shrink wrap modifier. So right now I'm gonna just duplicate this. This is the one for the the shrink wrap eyelids. Okay, so that is this mesh. And the border that I'm gonna create will be some sort of extruding towards this direction the world negative y axis. So let's change that to global individual, not snapping anything here. And let's extrude this and grab to this direction. Okay, this is more or less what I need. It must go deeper not too much we can make some adjustments then in terms of smoothing out Okay, we need a new vertex group for that. This will be called mod eyelids border left assign. And with this selection, remove from certain vertex groups where having it will be bad. So for these ones, there are masking stuff. This is good to have it inside. As I extrude, they were kind of duplicates, right? From the previous vertices. So it copied some of its properties. Uh, for the head is important. Okay, these are. Let me move this down. This is least important thing here. Then for the solidify eyelid, well, we are not even using this anymore, so we can just delete that. For the shrink wrap, yes, we need to remove it because this will get another shrink wrapping, but an another level of shrink wrapping. And this a correct name here as there is a left one let's make also prepare for having a right one okay and there is nothing here all this is good now yes the shape we should really try to make it smoother there's some way to do it this then until that This was messed up because we need to re-update that and that too. Something else got okay. So actually, this was the right side. So actually, this should be right here. This is the one that I'm creating and that I, I will call eyelids border left for the right. But I'll copy from this after I set up those things. What this one must have in this new approach is outside surface. And then let's make it somewhere on the top. Yes. This will help us to fake the solidify modifier. And now for the other one, the eyelids border, I need, okay, the, this is the vertex group. What I need here is to put it inside, so it will be shrink wrapping inside the eye surface, same target here, right? And offset, as we grow it, Okay, if you grow positively, it keeps going inside. 
I'll keep that. This is probably way more than I require. Now this is shrink wrapped to the eye surface on a different level so it will protect any possibility that we see through the eye borders. I could have a whole mesh here growing like if the ideas mesh was really something double right but this is not necessary with just this what would be called in the solidify modifier the rim this is just good enough in this different approach. Now I can duplicate that as well change here also that target don't forget that also change this name four shrink wrapping modifiers here you cannot test it exactly right now unfortunately because i don't have the armatures yet but we'll see later what it does and here i can play with this okay let's keep it like that for now and the other side Oh, here, I need to probably, I didn't equalize these options. Now, yes. Let's now create the meshes for the top and bottom eyelashes. I don't want this corner nor this corner. Then I want to extrude this thing outwards. I'm afraid this will create indeed a manifold mesh topology but so far I've tested it doesn't pose any trouble reshape here according to some design ideas they can it's very easy to work with the with the eyelashes if they d only have this kind of mesh a single edge loop for their vertex group this is what i'm gonna make the top one will be a bit larger so let me already make these changes here Now they are overlapping a little, I'll have to adjust that. Okay, I want to change their materials, I need a new material, it will be something a color like that, copy that, report display and do that. And for the bottom eyelash I will also make a copy of that. copy, paste and assign I think something got wrong here ok now it's good eyelash top eyelash box because I have extruded them these edge loops they contain certain data from which they extruded from so I need to remove these vertices from certain vertex groups, particularly from those shrink wrap modifiers. So remove, remove, remove. In principle, just those two. Here I can improve this shape, getting it a bit far apart from, because now it's getting some slight artifacts there which is not very interesting thing this is why this part is a bit complicated to develop okay let's get this let's smooth again okay now it's looking nice 